Welcome. Welcome back to another video, a podcast. Yeah. Welcome back to another podcast. Woo! You. <laughs> you. I don't know where to put this mic. And I have finally coffee tijdens the coffee date podcast. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> we called the podcast the coffee date podcast. And Waarom? Now, because we used to go on coffee dates every Sunday. Yes. Since we started dating. But then it stopped after we got married. <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We gotta get back it was into a it. Nice uh, try. Yeah. Three and a half years of uh, coffee yeah. dates, and now we're creating a coffee date podcast. So we still sit down and talk for 30 minutes. Yes, I agree. Um, but today's podcast is gonna be about me coming to the Netherlands for the first time. And. Uh, But before yeah, we start, and your experience so far. Yeah. yeah. Before we start, tell me, what are you going to say? I was going to talk about our life, like how, right now. Yeah, kind oh, of. Okay. Now cool. or in the past, and like when we started dating, we had we had no responsibilities, and we were just you know experiencing life and making memories and you know. But now it's kind of like different. We're now like on the grind, you know. Yeah. We're trying to build a life now, you know. Like building our house, you know, buying a bed or getting a bed, you know, buying a couch, a table, all of those things, you know. Getting into a routine of like waking up early or like ordering groceries or like cleaning the house. Like so much. But it's nice. I like it. I, I like too. this little life. I do too. I like it. But yeah. So let's go to the 7th of June, 2022. It was 2022? Yeah, 7th of June. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, look at you. You still remember the day. Yeah, because I created the video where we got told that you can stay here. So I looked up the dates from when we saw each other, when we left, when we saw each other. So I wrote all of them them down in the video, or yeah. at least some of them. So that's why I know. Nice. I mm -hmm. see what you're saying. Look at Mona. She's they're asleep. out. This is the first time they're not running around. They're yeah. just sleeping on the carpet now. Yeah. I do love your outfit. Thanks, but go to June. June. 7th. I really don't remember the Bro, day. Bro, I was so nervous picking you up. Really? Don't you remember me oh, talking yeah. about it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the first time I met mom. Yes. And I said, oh, hi. Finally, nice to meet you in yeah. person. I don't know. I was so nervous for Why? you coming to the Netherlands because we had always talked about going to the Netherlands and you always said, oh, I love the US. I will never move to the Netherlands. And it just made me nervous that all those things you said were going to be true. Like that you were not going to like it here, that you still think that America is the best country of every every country and they have everything you want and I that it's the best that. in everything. So I was just so nervous that all your assumptions were going to be right in your eyes. So I was just so nervous. I just wanted you to like the country and the culture and the people. Yeah. What would you have done if I said, yeah, it's not for me. I want to go back to the state. I don't know. I think we would have some trouble. Yeah. Yeah, because the country is not just... Would you just... break up with me? No. Yes or no? No. Like, the country is not just a country. It's also, it's also where I grew up and part of my culture is. Mm -hmm. So, like, the way I am is because I grew up in the Netherlands. So, it would make it difficult for me because if you really don't like it that much, how are we going to go for Christmas or, you know, for any holiday? Yeah. That's, that's what I was just scared for. But he entered the Netherlands. He was like, oh! Mom! <laughs> <laughs> I was. Um, I was so excited. I mean, I've never been, you know, to Europe. And I was like, oh, this is my first time. I never knew about the Netherlands, honestly, until I met you. I know. And you were like, yeah, I'm from Holland. I was like, where is that? <laughs> Typical American? Nah. I just never paid attention to geography class in school but i i don't know i did a lot of research on rotterdam mm -hmm. and i saw a lot of videos how it was destroyed back in the day because of the war 
Um, but then I saw some videos about the marked hall, uh, the, like the downtown mall area, like where the city is. I was like, oh, this this looks cool. It looks like uh, similar to Washington, D.C., you know? Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. And then you took me there. I was like, oh, this is kind of nice. I like it, you know? Especially it was like everybody is walking around and, you know, it felt like like a good vibe, you know, mm-hmm. of like you seeing humans around you walking, shopping. It's like a, almost like a typical holiday in America, mm-hmm. but you see this in the Netherlands every day. Also, I liked it, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I missed about Charlottesville. Yeah, I see. Like I when see. we went to downtown, I was like, what the heck is this? Why is there no one walking? Why are the restaurants so empty? Yeah, it's just because the the, the city is so big. You know, and there's a lot more options, but also like everyone is busy with their own life, yes. with their own job, with everything, you know, mm-hmm. it's a busy life in America, honestly. Yeah. You know, here's but, more family related if you compare the two. Kind of. Yeah, I would say so. Mm-hmm. There's more work related here. It's more family oriented. But also like, I think one big um big thing for me is that when you go outside you walk like you've always explained to me how you love walking to grocery stores and get you know your groceries and then walk back home you always love to go and do shopping but walking instead of like driving and now I understand it from a point where it's kind of like cool to walk outside of your house next to humans that are doing the same thing but you still have that physical contact with them you know like you see them but also like you feel it too mm-hmm. whereas in the state you're just, you're just all by driving. yourself it's yeah. like a, you're yeah. living in your own bubble and here it's more like you're living in a community i would say yeah the community is a bit more stronger mm-hmm. in, in holland yes but i Still would say there is a community in Charlottesville. I think it depends what neighborhood you live in, too. Yeah. It's, yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you're rich. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But, so what else? Yeah, I liked it. Uh, mm-hmm. And then you you bought some croissants and seen us. I'm full stop. Ah! And you were sold. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is my country, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I was so shocked when you said... Four croissants for... One euro back then. Yeah, one euro and 20 cents. Well, now it's 120. Back then it was one euro. Oh, yeah. Four croissants for one euro. Yes. And uh, I've seen a sample shop for... Uh, one something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. Because croissants in the US were 525 or something like that. Yeah. It's like four, four dollars and... Yeah. Not you know? cheap. So yeah. having four croissants for one euro is a really good deal. Yes. And I kept croissant in my hand here now. Yeah. Oh, I love croissant. She's so adorable. Yeah, but do you have questions, like specific questions for me? Well, what, like we've been to so many cities, right, in the Netherlands. Yeah. How would you compare the cities or what? what is your favorite? Where do, what, what vibes did you like or explain me? Okay, my favorite, my least favorite city in the whole Netherlands is Amsterdam. I freaking hate Amsterdam now. I don't, I don't like it. It's too busy. It's like no one cares about anyone. There's no Dutch people there. Everybody's like from outside of the country. It's like, you know, you don't get the... Dutch experience, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, I do like Rotterdam, and what do I you do like love about the, it? I love the Hague. I think the Hague is my favorite, yeah. because you've got like combination of like you know Dutch people, but also it's universed with like other countries. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like international, internationally, like you know. Mm-hmm um lived so like like there's a lot 
a lot of people who are Dutch, but also a lot of people who are foreigners, you know? And mm-hmm. I like that. It's like half-half, you know? It fits together. Yes. Rotterdam? I like Rotterdam. Why? I like it a lot. Tell me about it. You Why? know, I was going to watch the Super Bowl. I went watching the Super Bowl uh, a couple of days ago. And I drove, or not me, but... Uh, In the car? Yeah, uh, we drove through, not through Rotterdam, but on the other side of Rotterdam at night. And it was almost like New York City, bro. <laughs> I freaking I loved it. I was like, mm. what? This is Rotterdam? Yeah, it was like a different experience, different vibe, different feeling. I was like, oh my God. I liked it a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, what about the people in the Netherlands? Too direct, man. Too honest. Talk, talk about it. Like, what do you mean? Give examples. Uh, Don't talk about me because everyone already knows how straightforward I am. Yeah. I have an example, but I don't want to say it. Oh. Why? I don't know. I'll just I'll just say it to you off camera. Okay. Why do you think they direct? I don't know. They just speak their mind. You know, like... <laughs> they have no filter on. Well, it's good because then you know whatever someone else is thinking. You get to the point and you're done. Yeah. You know, it's a fast way of communicating. Yeah. I see. Yeah. But also, like, yeah, there's a lot of people who are, uh, they're sensitive. So, like, if you're sensitive, Netherlands is not for you. The, the Dutch Or it is, culture, because then you will get used to it. It depends how you look at it. Yes. Because there's a lot of people who are sensitive. Mm-hmm. They like to stay sensitive. Yes. But also, like, on the other side, they are... Some people who are sensitive, but want to hear feedback. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I think, I feel like I'm sensitive, but also... And then there's me. <laughs> I, like to, I, like, I like to hear feedback. Mm-hmm. I actually love hearing like feedback. Oh, I love it too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't take it personal. I do sometimes. Depends who says it. You do take it personal the way people say it. I that's, what, that's what I say. Depends who says it and also how it's said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. What about the language? The language. Yeah. How, what do you think about the language? Do you still remember what you first thought about it when you heard it all around you? No. My first expression of, of, of the language. Yeah. Do you still remember it? N- not really. Mm-hmm. But also... I still remember the day you taught me a cow for you. <laughs> mm-hmm. You were saying it. Ik- 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 and I was like, okay. <laughs> and then uh, I tried to say it like a couple times and then I stopped saying it. And then when I came here, I actually learned it. I remember the day I learned Sinas Aposap. Because it, it, too, it yeah. was like one of the videos that went viral. Yeah, that was the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Sinus Apusop. That was when you were doing it in the store and someone came up to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember it. I do remember a lot of days where I was learning Dutch, but it's funny because, you know, I grew up in the state and a lot of people speak like from their throat, like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Mm-hmm. but in the Netherlands, like, <laughs> Yeah, it's some countries you breathe in the language and some countries you breathe it out, like when you talk. Yeah. Same. It's different in Arabic too. Mm-hmm. But I don't. I don't see it. You know. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. But it was easy for me to pronounce the ha because it's already in Arabic. Mm-hmm. So it's like. Yeah. But also, like I don't know, it's a bit different. It's like ha. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. Yeah, 88. 88. Gaat het goed? Gaat het goed? Like, het gaat goed. Het gaat, gaat goed. <laughs> you know, it's like too many gaga after each other, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like almost impossible to learn it. Or, I mean, yeah, it's been easy learning the Dutch language for me at least. Some ones. Some, some of them, yeah. yeah. You know, I think... But uh, it's also because you're so curious and you really want to know it. Yeah. And the thing is, when you hear it, you use it. 
So that's how you remember. So I think yeah. it's not that easy, but it's just because you want to. Yeah, I do. I think it's fun learning a new language, honestly. Mm -hmm. I still remember uh, one of the hardest uh, uh, word that I had to learn was gefeliciteerd. Yeah, you learned it like two weeks ago. Yeah, gefeliciteerd. Goed zo. Yeah. I always said gefeliciteerd. 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 Yeah, goed zo. Like, congratulations. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there was a lot of, uh, I think there's a lot of uh, weird kind of like Did things that you guys say in, in Dutch. Wait, like when, I want to ask something has, too after this, okay? Yeah, when someone when someone says happy birthday, you guys don't say happy birthday. You say congratulations. Mm -hmm. I think that's so weird. Yeah, because in the US you don't use it that way. No. Mm -hmm. It's like, what? Why are you saying congratulations? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, I got a question for you. Yeah. Did you have a culture shock? Or like something from the culture yes. that... Sh what then? Showing your tits at the beach. Baby, I've never done that here. No, not you. Not not you. Oh. I'll never let you do that. You better not do it. <laughs> There's nothing to show. No, but no, but just, you know, going to the beach. It's a European thing, though. Not specific Netherlands. Yeah, we, we used to talk about it. Yes. When I used to work at Boylan, yeah. we used to talk about it. Really? Yeah. It's like... Yeah, you go to Europe and, you know, you don't have to wear a bra or, you know, you can, you know, in certain, uh, you know, hotels, you know, when you go to the pool, you can go naked. It's like, what? <laughs> Holy shit. And yeah. uh, I the came US to the Netherlands and I saw Oma. Yeah. yeah. And I saw oh, an Oma. Yeah, I remember that. I remember <laughs> <laughs> Oma with her titties out. <laughs> Not Oma Anya, it's a different Oma. Yeah. That's crazy. It's just because you're not used to it. It's just normal. Nah, it's too much for me, honestly. Yeah, well, that's because you're not used to it. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Any other culture shocks you've had? What did you think of the public transportation? I remember you talking about it. You were comparing it with the one in D.C. and New York. Yeah. Just, oh, it's so cleaner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it really is. It doesn't smell like pee or shit. Mm -mm. And there are no rats. Yeah. It's, it's different. It's way the opposite in New York. Yeah, well, I kept telling you that, but you didn't want to believe me until you saw it. Yeah. But also, it's frustrating to me, public me. transportation. What then? Because, like, if you miss the train by one minute, now you have to wait, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> Nay! Well, that's everywhere. Yeah. It's not like the train is going to wait for you. Yeah. Or, or like, this story pisses me off until today. The one in Amsterdam? Yes. Okay, talk about it. It's a funny okay, story. We, we, we were in Amsterdam. Two weeks ago, I think. Yeah. And we took the tram. And we arrived at our, uh, our, our uh, uh, stop. stop. Mm -hmm. You went to the right. And I was like, no, this way is closer. So I went to the left. To exit from a different door. Mm -hmm. But then the, 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 the train... Lady, whatever. Yeah. She was like, no, you cannot exit from here. You got to go to the other door. I was like, oh, okay, sure. And then she closed it in front of Mo's eyes. And then she just took off. Yeah. What the... F so I was already out of the tram. You can explain it in Dutch. Yeah. It's bad. Ze had yeah. dus de deur al gelijk dicht gedaan toen Mo daar aankwam. En ik stond al buiten. En toen reed ineens de tram met Mo in voorbij mij naar de volgende stop. She pissed me off, honestly. But okay. she didn't care either. No, she didn't. No. She just wanted to go. Yeah. Okay, got another question. What about the Dutch food? <laughs> go in detail. Okay, okay People Dutch People want to hear this. Yeah. I think uh, it's very simple, but also really delicious. There are certain things that I really love about the Dutch food, like kaas, like cheese. So good. Uh, 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 what? Broches, the bread is so good. Yes. You guys like... In the US, bread doesn't expire for the upcoming three months because they put so much chemicals in there. Yeah. And it tastes like bread that has been laying here out of the fridge for two weeks. That's how it tastes there on the first day. 
Uh, yeah, well, I never. And here it's so fresh. Yeah, I never liked eating bread by itself. No. But Me when either. I came here and I tasted like some of the bread, bro, I go to the grocery store just to buy like a brochette just to eat it right away, you know, with mm. nothing on it. It's good. Yeah. The cheese, oh, oh my God. It's addictive, right? I'm fat from the cheese, bro. I swear to God. I don't think it's only cheese. I think it's croissants, cheese, and sinus apple shop. Yeah. The <laughs> croissants, yes. So good. Mm-hmm. The crompoos, yes. Crompoos. Crompoos. Yeah. So good. Mm-hmm. Stroopwafel. Oh. Stroop. Stroopwafel. Mm-hmm. So good. What else? I don't like stumbled, bro. Why? I don't know. It's uh, too simple. It's just potatoes. Because what do you normally eat? The, so what would you eat in the U.S.? What is your uh, normal? Uh, normally, like mashed potatoes, you get it with like uh, like a a gravy, gravy or or you know uh, short ribs. That's mm. how you eat it. But but you guys eat it with like meatballs here. I don't know. I'm not used to that. I like it with uh, short ribs. Oh my god. Draadjesvlees is zo so lekker. Want dan proef je de potatoes niet meer. Als je draadjesvlees saus overheen gooit, dat bedoelt hij. We should cook some short ribs. Oma sometime. said she will make it next time. Yeah? Yes. We should go on Monday then. He <laughs> in two days. <laughs> Yo, almost eten is echt zo so lekker. Yes, it is. Uh, What about the Dutch breakfast? Nah. Talk about it. The Dutch breakfast is like dessert to me. Why? It's like all of those candies, you put them on a brooch and you eat it. Chocolate Come sprinkles. On, bro. No, you gotta have like some eggs, some, you know, like strawberries, a banana, like some brooches. I do like uh, brooches with kaas. Yeah. So good. It's well lekker. I like of uh, pinda kaas met uh, hagelslag. Yeah, I like that It's too. It's lekker. Yeah. yeah. But like those candies on a brooch with butter. Well, I don't, I just don't like the, the butter. I don't like butter. Nah, That's the problem. I don't. I like the sprinkles. I just don't like the butter on there. I just don't like all of it. <laughs> nah, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the Dutch Christmas? I like it. Talk about it. What do you like about it? I like how it's like family related. Like everybody, you know, has the whole week off. From the well, that's that's not true. Third to the twenty seventh. Sixth. It's the twenty fourth. It's like almost three days. I like how you guys celebrate it in three days. Because mm -hmm. now you can actually see the whole family. Yes. Everybody. Mm -hmm. And I like that. Mm -hmm. It's like a. Well, in my experience with your family, it's not like Christmas. It's like more of a family reunion, where everybody gets together and. Eat. You know, yeah, eat, drink, share gifts. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I like it. What about Sinterklaas? It's funny, Sinterklaas. <laughs> Everybody uh, thinks about Sinterklaas. I like it. Why don't? I don't know. It's a, it's a funny kind of like holiday for the kids. It's funny to see everybody, you know, believe in it and, and you know, go outside and watch it mm -hmm. i like it it's like it brings a smile to it's kids, cute uh, it's pure yeah i like mm -hmm. it i see myself in the video now i'm watching the video that we created <laughs> yeah you it's see kinda, it it's kind of cute right i like it yeah mm -hmm. it's a good holiday i like it i like it i would give the netherlands uh you know eight out of ten honestly Yeah, what do you think of the living situation in the, in the Netherlands? I like it, it's my. I have two pushes. Two pushes, they don't like me. And I always buy them food. Have their mommy clean their shit. Don't, don't and, do they don't so even, the and they don't even give me a kiss yet. Or cuddle with me. Well, so soft. Just long, you know. She's so soft, so fluffy. Yes. I would want to say one thing. Yes. That I'm so grateful for the Dutch people, the ones that follow us. I never mm. thought Dutch people would like us. You know? I know, because It's you like, never thought about it. No. No. And I'm, I'm honestly like, of course, you know, when people like see us, 
in real life and they want to have photos with us or say, oh, you're famous and blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I don't it believe still them. shocks me. <laughs> I don't it's believe like, them. It's like, what? Actually? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I really still don't believe that we're uh, popular. I don't believe it. I really no. don't. I, sometimes I think it's so weird. It's like... Of course, for you, it's more weird, I think, than for me. Because I've lived in the Netherlands and you just came to the Netherlands to visit the country and now people here know you. So I think for you, it's a more weird experience than... Yeah. Well, for me, it's also weird, but you came from a different country and then but somebody... weird in a good way, you know? Yes. Yeah, of course. That's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, I'm... Mm. You also weird, like read all of the comments. Oh, nice, Mona. <laughs> but I don't. Uh, I'm booty clean. <laughs> what do you think of the Dutch summer? I love you. I love this cat. I know. <laughs> You're so cute. Mo, what do you think of the festivals and the Dutch summer? Oh, I love it, bro. I love it. Like the festivals and the carnivals and like the party vibes is so nice. I hate one thing about me. You're sliming. No. <laughs> I hate going to bars. Oh, I don't like or it clubs. either. Oh, it's so overrated. It's so... It's like a waste of your evening in my eyes. Yes, it's, it's a waste of your whole weekend, honestly. Yes. Like when I hear people going to bars like three times a week. This is our opinion, by the way. Yes, it's, it's just opa mocha, okay? <laughs> it's like, what are you doing in your life? Like beside going to bars because like if you think about it you go out you have to spend a lot of money on drinks they're so expensive mm -hmm. you got wasted you now you need to pay for an uber back home and the next day you wake up feel, feeling like shit you know yeah but whereas like carnivals i love it you go during the day you see so many people it's like you are in an open area you can breathe well Nobody's touching you or splitting, uh, uh, you know, splitting drinks on you, and you're having a good time. And uh, you know, you see your favorite artist or rapper, or you know, mm -hmm. I like it way more. And I, I, I feel like it's more chill. And I love how there's so many of them, right? So many of them. Yo, Dutch people are like they're so good at partying, and mm -hmm. I love it. Just wait for King's Day. When is King's Day? 27th of April. Oh. So it's going to be crazy. Can I dress up like the king? Yes. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Yeah? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Bet. You know, I want to I wanna buy like one of those old outfits from back in the day of Dutch people. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think that would be cool. <laughs> yeah. You don't think so? Yeah, of course. I, think, I we, think it will be funny. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Buy it, wear it to a festival. And it's probably go. so warm. Yeah. Unless it's not warm at the, on that day. I agree. What do you think of the Dutch um, winters? Fucking hate it. Why? Because it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> I hate... Hold up. Okay. That's not, it's okay, not okay. colder than One the thing. US. You, huh? got, you gotta explain yourself okay. better. Okay. I lived in a city where... It does I get lived, cold there. It does, but I lived... Uh, the, the, the weather, uh, the, the, the city that I lived in has four seasons. Yes. We actually have like summer, winter, you know, spring and fall. I would say your spring is probably like one month because your summer yes. starts early. Yes, I agree. The yeah. summer is longer. Yes. But in the Netherlands, it's different. I feel like... Spring is winter. So like spring is winter. Yeah, because like if you realize that when we moved in, before winter started, it was like already winter time. That's because it was raining. False. Yes, I know, but like it was always raining. That's fall. Fall is rain. Yeah, never sun. Uh, never seen the sun. <laughs> always cloudy. Now we're in the winter time. It doesn't rain as much as fall. There's n more sun. And there's less clouds except today, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. and we're going to go to spring and I feel like it's going to be cold as shit or or summer as shit. No, it's going to be a little bit warmer with more sun. I hope so. Honestly. I hope so, too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to go to Spain. 
Spanje? Yeah. Waarom Spanje? Because everybody says uh, Spanje, Spanje, Spanje. In Spanje al goed met water. Oh, schijnt <laughs> altijd de zon. Ja. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. I like the Netherlands, honestly. Yo. I love living here. What is your now. favorite part? Being with you. Oh. Yeah. What about the Netherlands itself, though? Oh. That people know us and like us. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Because, like, you and I yeah. are very picky about picking friends or, or hanging out with people. Mm-hmm. Because, one, we don't want to waste our time, but also we want to be with real people. You know, it's not like fake or... It's not like eager, people have eager or, or like, you know, showing off with their status or, you know, bitching or, you know, mm-hmm. like we want to have friends who are down to earth. Genuine. Yeah. Kind, mm-hmm. fun to hang out with, don't care about what they have in life. They just are grateful for right. what they have in their hands. But now it's like. We have a community who cares about both of us. I know, it's beautiful. It really is. I'm so grateful for them, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I also like that it's Dutch people because they just straightforward tell you what they think of you. Yeah. Whereas in the US, they would probably stare and film you from far away. Yeah. They would be too too selfish to even come up to you. They probably talk behind your back, oh my gosh. Whereas here, they just come up to you. Which I really appreciate and like. Yeah, me too. It makes my day, honestly. Right? Yeah. I still believe it's, uh, it's, it's not okay, real. Okay, we gotta say this. It's funny because when some people come up to us and then when we took a picture and they left, we're like, oh my gosh, that was so cute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're like as, uh, as uh, shocked as they are, honestly. Yes. But like, oh we, my God, they but took then, a photo. I know, but we have it afterwards and they have it before. <laughs> it's, uh, it's funny. Yes. It's still such a fun experience. Yeah. So grateful for it. But I think we're almost on our time. Yeah, it's all good. I love that cheese. Yes. I love the ones who walk up to us and take photos or talk to us. Right. It's like my favorite thing. It's mm-hmm. like they make my day too, honestly. Because yes. like, for me, like from our experience, when we post those videos, we just see numbers on the screen. But then when we go outside and people actually talk to us about our videos or like our things that we said in a video, I'm like, oh, dude, come here. Come here. I would give you a kiss on the lips right now. <laughs> It's like funny, bro. It's like, oh, like, uh, dude, I love you, dude. <laughs> you know? I know, yeah. Or like, you know, I don't know. I like it. Good. I like it. I, I'm grateful, honestly. Mm-hmm. I really am. That's why every time, you know, you know, sometimes we're in hurry. Yes. And we gotta go, go, go. Especially like, you know, when we went, we when we were in Utrecht. And there were those two girls oh, wanted to sad. have a photo yeah. with us. We just had to go. But I knew they care about us. And I really care about them too. Because mm-hmm. someone cares about you, you got to care back about them, you know? Right, yeah. And that's why I didn't care about the train. I was like, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, we were going to miss a train. Yeah, l- let's go. Take the photo. Mm-hmm. You know? And that means a lot to me. Yes. Anyways, we went all over the place now. I know. What should the next podcast? I thought we were going to be talking about our trips in the next one, right? Yeah. Like go more in detail what kind of trips we have done, what trips we are planning to go on. Yeah. Let's do it. Right? Yeah. So we'll, uh, last question and, and we can end this whole conversation. What, um, what do you think about the whole thing since I moved in? Like in the beginning of the podcast, you said... I was really nervous, Mm -hmm. you know? Well, okay, to go back to that conversation, I think you were in the Netherlands for three weeks because we lived in Oma's house for the first two. Yeah. And then Oma came back. And the moment Oma came back, I knew I was going to go marry you. Really? Yes. Why? Because just the way that you accepted everyone and wanted to try your best for the country, the culture, my family, my friends... 
because we try to meet as many people as we could in a small period of time. Yeah. And just the way you put so much effort into this meant so much to me because you always said the opposite to me. Like in the beginning, yeah, you were like, oh, I like, you know, the American people and I like this country better and this and that. Still do. Yeah, but like yeah. you showed me the opposite of things you said before. Like you were so open to everything, so open to all the people. You really tried your best for me and for everyone around me. I did. And I did not expect that, but I'm so grateful you did. <laughs> No, I'm serious. I was like, this is my man. Ah, <laughs> Mocha made it, baby. <laughs> yeah. I made it. You did. Appreciate and you, you still, bro. And you're still making it every day. Uh, we have not made it yet. No, but you're making uh, it to me. Yeah. Okay, to you. <laughs> at one point, like at what point would you say you have made it in life? I think when you're, I have a specific time in my head, like once you have had all your kids and you're sitting at your breakfast table with Christmas with your family mm. and you're able to afford all the food on the table with a Christmas tree next to the table and you're sitting there looking at your beautiful family, then I've made it. I like that. That's cute. Yeah. I don't think money wise, because I mean, money wise in like the way that we can afford food and a Christmas tree, but not money-wise and I need to be a millionaire. That's not it. I just need to be able to afford my family. Yeah, I like it. Okay, jongens and meisjes, dank what, you all for kijken. What about you? What about me? When would you say I've made it? I actually like your point. Uh, I would say when I buy my mom a house mm -hmm. and when my kid asks me for something, or when my kids ask us for something and we always provide it for them and help them, you know, mm -hmm. get the best out of it. Give them the life that they deserve. Right. You know, mm -hmm. maybe also when we have like some real estate. Future, thi future things. Financial, okay. yeah. I feel like success is part of it about financial, part of it about love part of it about yourself health and, and family and health and family yeah yes it's like it's never one thing no it's like multiple thing multiple things well, in one pie i think for some people it is about money but what are you gonna do with money if you cannot share it yeah and what are you gonna do with money if you're not healthy what if you uh, yeah what would you do with money if uh you you can never trust anyone i know or you never have a family. I know. Or you don't have love. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and now you're scared. <laughs> okay, do we thank you very much, thank you, Mocha, Nadasha, for you, I hou, and love you very, very much. See us up on Sabin Krizanchez. Do we? Do we?